So this is the Calaveras River and the Stockton Yacht Club, where Vino has lived most of its life in this covered slip. She is a 1988 38 Carver Santigo. Not to be confused with the later 380 Santigo, which was actually previously the 34 Santigo. So this is a much bigger boat um, I'm guessing that the absolute overall length of this boat is probably close to 45 feet. Now, due to its life under cover and in fresh water, she uh, has this amazing finish. Now, this aft canvas we're looking at is brand spanking new just a couple months ago. Uh, the flybridge canvas is older, and you can see the windows are just a little cloudy, and maybe it can be cleaned up. Um, but uh, anyhow, all this back here is brand new. And we'll walk around uh, the stern, see the dual 30 amp inlets. And we'll go around and talk about easy boarding and uh, this is just amazing um, on either side and a nice little bench back here uh, i guess when you're sitting at the dock i don't think you want people riding there as you're underway this rail safety rail grab rail whatever you want to call it was uh, added at the same time the canvas was done and uh, makes it much much easier to board We'll go around this side real quickly. And as you can see, obviously the port side is as nice as the starboard side. And look at this, not even any corrosion. That's what you see on carvers a lot if they've been salt water, is that nameplate is corroded. Nice big open foredeck which when I get up to the flybridge, I will show you. If you look in the center there, that whole section uh, is uh, removable. So you have access to the foredeck right from the bridge. Okay, let's uh, head aboard now, stepping aboard. Very easy with those stairs and over the step there, aft this very nice bench seat and I don't know what that beeping is I'll have to take a look um, anyhow so I, I'm not sure that the teak table and chairs are gonna stay we'll just have to see probably depends on what kind of offer we get so there's those custom stairs and rail that you just unsnap and can pull them away so that you can open up that aft hatch. So we'll head up to the bridge now. And I don't know how many people exactly, but uh, I'm guessing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe 10 people up here, something like that nice little table for sitting your drinks down there's that walk through that i talked about that you can just pull all all of that out and head forward seating forward of the helm and this is really nice because all your guests and your owner or captain uh, can be part of the party so the captain doesn't have to turn around and talk to people. Nicely equipped, great electronics, especially for the Delta where you often don't see charts or radars. Okay, we'll head uh, inside. Here's our interior tour. All new carpeting in here. 
Very nice set T to starboard. There's your master electrical panel for both 12 and 110. Television. And to port, we have another set T. Ice maker down there, and I'm not absolutely sure it works. Um, I know that the former owner had one of those portable ones on the counter, and uh, I don't know if it's they didn't want to eat ice off the boat or if it doesn't work. We'll just have to look into that. That's a newer uh, refrigerator. It's not the old uh, Norcal. Um, stove with oven. And I'm not sure if anybody has ever cooked anything on this stove, to be honest with you. I'm not sure what the oven looks like. It is, <laughs> it appears unused as well. Uh, microwave up here. And these real nice Carver deep stainless steel sinks are fabulous. Lots of uh, storage space. And then the uh, pantry is right here, and that extends on both sides, and then also up above continues. So, very nice pantry. Entry to the uh, head is right here from the salon area, as well as from the stateroom. So, we'll head into the stateroom. Um, storage, a uh, small hanging locker there, uh, a uh, walk around center line berth that uh, you can actually get on and off of, uh, hanging locker in here, and uh, more hanging locker over here, so tons of locker space, and then here's your head, nice parquet flooring in there. And shower back there with shower doors, so it's stall shower, electric marine toilet, another nice uh, deep stainless sink. And there you have it. So we'll just head back out and you can see what it all looks like uh, from the galley. And we'll take a peek at the engine room in a bit. So well, here's our engine room. Very nice engine room for a... Uh, 1988 it appears to be pretty clean obviously could be cleaned up and made spotless if one were inclined cooler generator there and then our motor on the starboard side and obviously Real easy access, there's one more hatch that comes up that I'm standing on, and then these support bars unscrew and come out too. And there you have it.